Wow, you have got to be kidding me. Bitcoin is up 10% in the last 48 hours, but don't start counting your chickens yet. We have to talk about this key area that Bitcoin is now on. What is the projected target for Bitcoin? How high could we go? What could be keeping us from that? A few things that are very important about this specific pattern and what it means. We really have to watch out for it. And watching this baby move on the small time frames, now I'm getting excited. As well guys, great news from my doctor. It turns out it was just milk stains. Everything is fine. Uh, let's do this. Wow, wow, wow. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another episode this Monday edition, January 6th, 2020. Guys, welcome back to this very exciting episode. Boy, do we have a show for you today, ladies and germs. Bitcoin is performing even better than expected and as prepared for. But the key question now is, is there going to be resistance? And there's something probably hanging on everybody's minds is that how high will this pattern go? Because guys, right now, uh, this looks as beautiful as could be for an inverse head and shoulders but there are still some things missing. And also, what are the targets? Because guys, I'm gonna come out right now and say it. This is obviously not a full completion of the break of the inverse head and shoulders. It's a really good start, a really good sign, but we have to talk about more. And also, what could happen? You know, what lies in our path? What lies in the way? So guys, thanks so much for joining. We have a very exciting episode. We're gonna delve into this Bitcoin TA. Before we do, guys, as always, if you're new, make sure to enter for these ledgers giveaway. I actually looked very closely. I think they're double wrapped, meaning if I take this wrapping off, they're each also individually wrapped. So I think I can do two giveaways. So I guess leave a comment below if you would prefer I do like one person gets both. One's the newer ledger and one's the ledger S or or leave a comment if you think uh, this month we should just give, give uh, two lucky people a chance. So like two people can win. I think that would probably be better. I don't think one person needs two different wallets. But guys, leave a comment below. And as well, if you're new to the channel, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications and ding the bell turns out the bullies in high school were wrong and they will not be putting me in a locker anytime soon i'll tell you that much brother so let's start off on this very small time frame as we actually see it climbing as i'm recording the video guys absolutely been beautiful to see in fact these two different time frames uh, right here were very similar before we got big breaks okay we had a touch here touch 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 which is all you need to really confirm this small time frame pattern but it is such a small time frame uh, the 30 minutes there that I don't really necessarily, uh, again, like I said, it was very speculative, it doesn't matter too much. But then as we broke down, you can see this very important level. I was actually away all night last night, and as soon as I got home, as soon as I got home last night, I think the price was like right about here, okay? And I was looking at the chart for like 15, 20 minutes. I was like, wow, this is kind of exciting, what's going on? And I kid you not, right before my eyes, right before my eyes, we had this absolute blast, okay? I sat here for an hour and I watched this thing absolutely climb during here. These are two 30 minute candles right here, guys. Okay. These are two 30 minute candles. Absolutely awesome to see. But the key thing we see here on these small time frames, where did it find support? Let me actually switch this to the, just the hourly chart, because this is a very, very uh, robust area, very key area. Okay. We had support here for so long. We had support here for so long. Okay. Uh, it was actually struggling to get above this then. Okay. Look at this resistance here, support here, guys, it goes back very far, obviously, but that is where the market found some support for the time being. And that's a very good sign that it bounced at such a key structural level. And it bounced very, very strongly, guys. This looks pretty big on the one hour time frame, but it actually looks quite big as well on the larger time frames, like the daily or the four hour. And right now it seems uh, it's possible that we're continuing to get another climb. Something you can see on these hourly closes is they're getting higher and higher, okay? There seems to be a repeating pattern, uh, like sort of like mini fractals going on here, you guys. So what I mean by that is we seem to have Develop, we've been developing like horizontal tops and then the price gets higher and higher, uh, higher lows basically, okay? We saw that there, this is the top here, higher lows. And now we're actually getting something very similar. It seems to be, this seems to be somewhat of a pretty, you know, area for the past 12 or so hours, 12 plus hours, just struggling right around the 75, 60, 75, 70, as where it topped out last night, right at 75, 70 or 75, 80. And then you see the price get higher and higher on the hourly time frame. The lows get higher and higher. And then actually just as I'm recording the video or about within the last 30 minutes, we're getting another move up from 7560. Currently we're at 7600, okay? Now will this move continue? Uh, I really think there's a lot to look at. So we haven't, there's something we need to, we have to recognize. We haven't seen a massive increase in volume yet, you guys. Uh, in fact, the volume is pretty low relative to the past few, let's go back, this is about three months. It's actually pretty low, okay? Now that could change at the drop of a hat 
that could change at a drop of a hat and we could see this thing spike up like this. We could see some of these very soon. We could see it happen, but we haven't seen it yet. Okay, guys, we had a weekly close last night. And now really the key question is, uh, is this inverted head and shoulders really going to blast off? So something I want to talk about here, an inverse head and shoulders, you have to keep this in mind. An inverse head and shoulders pattern upon completion signals a bull market. Okay, so what I wanted to show you guys an inverse head and shoulders pattern is compromised of or comprised of three component parts. One is after long bearish trends, the price falls to a trough and subsequently rises to form a peak. That is 100%. Uh, that is essentially the definition of what we've seen here with Bitcoin for the past seven months. Okay, falls and falls and falls. Okay, this could be a huge reversal sign, this inverse head and shoulders here. So that's we have one met. Okay, number two. It says here the price falls again to form a second trough sub substantially below the initial and you rise again and the price falls for a third time and then that's how you form the inverse head and shoulders okay with the two shoulders in the head but it happens after long bearish trends it can happen on very small time frames but this is a rather big one it's about two months and it's at the, at the tail end of seven months of a downtrend now the one thing we do have to watch out for is a false breakout however i think that might have been averted as of about a day or two ago as we uh, I posted a video about this. It actually was on the neckline for about a day. And then pretty much yesterday it was coming down. I think it went all the way down to 73, which again is not very significant. It's a few hundred dollars. But when you're on such a key critical area and you're expecting a massive move up out of this big pattern we've been watching, uh, it was a little disheartening. However, we got the massive boost up, guys. So in my opinion, I think that it actually was timed incredibly well. If we take a look on the CME chart, which we wanted to avoid, we take a look on the CME chart, which we wanted to avoid. Uh, you see, we don't have any gaps to close, guys. Okay, look at this. So this was one of the gaps. This is one of the gaps. Boom, closed. Where's this gap? It would have started today, and there's no gap because uh, the pump pretty much waited. Okay, so that's really good. So that's bullish number one. Very, very good stuff. Okay, very perfect timing, I think, there. Now let me zoom out and show you this inverse head and shoulders here on the Bitfinex chart. Okay, we know our target. We know our target of about 82 to 8,500. Actually, we have it charted very nicely on this chart here. So anywhere between 78 and 84. Now, this actually would be kind of like the top based on the measurement from the neckline to the bottom of the head or the top of the head. Um, however, with this pattern, you have to keep things in mind, like moving averages, like past resistances, like Fibonacci levels. And to be fair, I think that this area is going to be substantially uh, more hard to break than other levels leading up to it, just because of the history of the market. Okay, we see some big, these are some big levels, and especially during um, September when we found our maybe first like local bottom there. That was a very good area for actually about um, about an entire month. Okay, and then just essentially inversely the top, which is also pretty much like the extent of what the pattern should break out according to just the rules of it. So that's very interesting to see there, guys. Uh, what we need to keep an eye on though, okay, since this thing is just starting, uh, this looks so good right here. This is the Sunday close right here. Look at that candle. It's essentially an entire wick. You don't even see a candle. You can see there's a lot of indecisiveness, but you can see where it closed, okay? Now I wanna point your attention to something else. Okay, this 21 week moving average we need to keep an eye on and that's the exact middle of where I have this box. So again, uh, I'm probably gonna end up adding more lines to this box just to illustrate certain areas that might be hard to get up to, but I'm not gonna really do that until we actually start breaking and get up to these levels, okay? So the key thing to wait, wait for right now is 7,800 US dollars. Um, I was so confident in this pattern breaking out, as you guys know, and, and I'll admit, as of right now, um, I'm a little, I'm not less confident, but in my opinion, um, I'm very interested to see where this goes. I think that initially everything so far has been really uh, predictable in a sense, and I felt very confident on it. Right now, I kind of want to take a step back and wait a day or two because there's been a lot of momentum and I really just want to see what happens. Ideally, we continue up. And again, as you see on the small time frames, that does seem to be what is happening. Okay, if we zoom in, you can see the 30 minute. It, it really wants to push up, you guys, and it's trying, but we're missing one thing mainly and that is a big injection of volume we're missing a large amount of volume but it could come at any moment uh, we just need to wait and see if it actually does okay again look at this beautiful pattern wow thank you guys so much for tuning in for following along with this awesome pattern and for all the support you have been amazing wow thank you guys so much i'll see you in the next one love you peace wow just wanted to add this to the end of the video as while i was editing it it did in fact break out 
Uh, guys, this has been absolutely beautiful. Such a strong move. Look at this right now. Uh, more importantly, look what it is breaking right now on the daily chart. It is finally breaking this level right here, guys. This is absolutely beautiful. All we need is about a few, uh, like $100 more, and we're in such an awesome area in terms of this breakout. I think this thing's really going to speed up. <laughs> wow.